Happy Easter! So we're going to learn something that the adults do in worship, and I want you to know how to do it. So on Easter, the person who's the leader says, Christ is risen, and everybody else responds, He is risen indeed. Let's see if you can do that. So I'll say the first part, and you say the next part. You ready? Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Very good. All right, so are you ready to hear the Easter story? It's one of my favorite parts of the Bible. Here we go. It's called The Empty Tomb. Remember during our last story, we read about how Jesus died on the cross. And after he was dead, they took his body off of the cross and they put it in a tomb. We don't use tombs anymore, but that's what they used to do with people's bodies when they died. They'd put them in a big, like a cave almost. And then they'd put a big stone in front of it. So that's what a tomb is. Let's hear what happens. It was early in the morning on the third day after Jesus died. The sky was pink and red with the first light of the sun. The women didn't notice the sky. They hurried to the cave of, that contained Jesus' body. Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James, led the way. Two others, Salome and Joanna, carried the spices to rub on the body of Jesus. They had a job to do. When the tomb of Jesus came into sight, they froze. Uh-oh! They had forgotten about the huge stone that sealed the opening to the cave. How would they move it? The women kept going to the cave anyway. As they came closer, the women could see that the stone had already been rolled away. They peeked inside. Ooh, it was dark in there. Brrr, it was cold in there. Drip, drop, it was damp in there. What? It was empty in there. Jesus was gone. An angel appeared in sparkling white clothes. The glow from the angel brightened even the darkest corners of the cave. The women shielded their eyes from the blinding light. Don't be afraid, the angel said. Jesus isn't here. This is a place for the dead. Jesus is alive. Hurry, the angel said. Go tell the disciples. The women did not delay. They ran to tell Jesus' friends what they had seen and heard. Oof. Mary bumped into a man, tripped and fell at his feet. Wait, she knew those feet. A familiar hand reached out to help her. Wait, she knew that hand. She looked up. Yes, she knew that smile. It was Jesus. Hello, friends, Jesus said. Jesus was really alive. The women hugged his feet and shouted with joy. Go tell the others the good news that I am alive, Jesus said. I will meet them in Galilee. I can't wait to see them again. The women had a new job to do. They had to tell everyone Jesus was alive. How awesome is that? That's why we celebrate Easter. Because Good Friday, we talked about how Good Friday is when Jesus dies. And it's good because when Jesus died on the cross, he, he gave himself so that our sins would be forgiven. So that no matter what, we would be loved by Jesus and by God and that we would be with God forever. But what's so great about this story, about Easter morning, means that death does not win. Yeah, our bodies are going to die. Because our bodies just get old and they stop working, right? But what Jesus being raised again means that we get to go to heaven. That our spirits and our hearts and our love for God will never die. That is truly the greatest gift ever, isn't it? So I think we need to decorate our houses for Easter we need to make it a big celebration. 
you know, usually we get to dress up in nice clothes and we get to go to church and we have a nice breakfast. But today, because we have to stay inside, it feels a little weird. It's not quite as Eastery as Easter normally is. So let's decorate then for Easter. So I want you to get some paper or, you know, Deacon Sherry's running out of paper. So I used an old pizza box and I cut out some egg shapes like this. So why don't you have a grown up help you if you need to, and if not, you can do it yourself. And you're going to draw some eggs on your paper or your pizza box or cereal box or whatever you got, and then cut them out. If you want to, you can make one and then trace it for the others. I only made two so that I have an example, but you can make as many as you want. And then we're going to color them really, really nice with bright colors, bright Easter colors. You could put words on them if you wanted to. It's up to you how you want to decorate your Easter eggs. And then, oops, I dropped one. And then we're going to take some string or some yarn. And you know, Deacon Sherry doesn't have string or yarn at her house. So I'm going to use dental floss. And we're going to tape our eggs to the, to the string or yarn or dental floss. And that way we can hang them either on our windows or at a door or wherever you think is the best place to hang your egg garland. So why don't you go cut out your eggs, color them, and then come back and we'll put them on the string together. All right, see you in a few minutes. Hi there. Okay, did you finish your eggs? Let's see how you did them. Wow, those are really colorful. I like them. These are Deacon Sherry's. I did one with blue and orange spots and then one with purple, green, and red like squiggly parts. So now what we're going to do is we're going to flip them over to the not so pretty side, right? Mine looks like a pizza box. We're going to flip those over so that that's facing up to us. And then we're going to take our string or yarn or dental floss, right? And put that on top of the eggs. You want to put it towards the top of top of your egg like this. So let me show you. See how Deacon Sherry's putting hers up kind of high on the top? That's where you want it. And then you're going to take some tape. Tape's going to be the easiest. You could use glue, but glue will be harder. So I'm going to use tape because I like to work easier. And then you're going to tape the string to your egg on the back like that. Do both eggs. Okay, are you ready to see the finished product? Yours might take longer to finish because you have more eggs than I do, but I only have two. See, and then I can hang it. This kind of looks like I make an Easter necklace, couldn't I? You can do whatever you want with yours. And then hang it from your window or on your door or wherever you want so that people know that your family is celebrating Easter because Easter is the day that Jesus rose. And it's the day that Jesus defeated death, which means we get to be in heaven with Jesus forever. And that, that is awesome. Well, you guys, I hope you have a wonderful Easter day. I hope that you've had lots of fun with your parents. I hope that Easter Bunny came and saw you. And I will see you tomorrow. Remember how much God loves you, that he gave his own son for you. And remember that Deacon Sherry loves you too. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.